Hello everyone, Micropunter here and welcome to another Saturday Microscopy live stream. Well, you can see that uh, the video looks a little bit different than in the previous weeks. Uh, I've uh, now attached uh, a new webcam uh, to my computer monitor, on top of my computer monitor, a wide angle uh, webcam and now you're able to see everything uh, a little bit uh, better, I hope. Uh, because uh, today, um, yeah, I need a lot of space here and uh, I also um, put now a centrifuge here on, on my table and uh, today I would like uh, to yeah, show you how to use the centrifuge. Those of you who have uh, been tuning in already in the past uh, probably um, have already seen me use the centrifuge before. A few of you might be new to the channel uh, and uh, might have not seen it yet so well. Today I'll be trying uh, yeah, the centrifuge again and I'll be putting the specimens then also of course under the microscope. Yeah, that's basically what I've planned today and I see that um, many people already start uh, to chat uh, in uh, the yeah in, in the in the chat uh, box um, and uh, for those of you who are new uh, well any time questions are of course always welcome um, and I'm going to also attempt uh, to respond uh, and to reply to those questions as far as I can and uh, because sometimes people communicate also with each other um, uh, I would uh, kindly request if you have a question for me then maybe you can put an at Oliver that's my first name or at Micropunter there so that I can immediately skip uh, um, all of the other comments and directly only answer those questions okay um, yeah I'm just uh, checking right now if everything is uh, indeed fine maybe uh, yeah I hope that the sound is also okay I always have to do a sound check uh, at the beginning and uh, it's been a tradition customary that I uh, yeah that we go through um, all of the greetings here hello from Costa Rica from yeah um, from Switzerland from Argentina from Lebanon from England from Hungary from Poland yeah so from all around the world um, from Colorado in the United States Slovakia from Serbia from the Netherlands uh, from Barcelona okay yeah and uh, yeah from England again yeah so that's basically um, yeah all around the world here um, so and uh, the first uh, question um, is already here and um, what is this machine used for okay and I think uh, that's uh, exactly the reason why I'm I'm doing this uh, video here because um, yeah some of you might not really know what this machine is used for um, it is used for separating or let me put it this way for concentrating very small particles so I would like to just show you that um, yeah I've got here a, a solution yeah with uh, something in it um, and uh, when I put it directly under the microscope then the concentration might not be high enough to properly see it and, and the centrifuge allows me to concentrate um, whatever is in here you know, so to make it much more dense and uh, this machine was uh, ridiculously cheap I think I only paid around 30 or 40 euros or dollars for it um, and uh, yeah it, it's probably not the best one but it does its job really okay um, and uh, it works like this and now I do have to switch uh, I do have to switch the view here so let me quickly switch over here okay and I'm just going to show you how the top looks like what the top of the machine looks like I have to yeah, extend the camera a little bit here okay uh, it's upside down but I think you get the idea okay um, so and uh, there is a little plastic lid on top and uh, over here there are um, yeah it's possible to put in those uh, tubes those plastic tubes the centrifugation tubes they're pretty cheap um, they're disposable and what you do is you put them in here yeah, with a yeah with a sample it always has to be properly balanced yeah and then uh, when you turn it on it's going to spin very quickly it's going to turn very quickly and then all of the solid particles everything that's solid will start to settle down here and uh, I will remove the water and on top and then I can put the, the, the so-called the pellet which is collected over here um, I can put that under the microscope yeah? and that's uh, what I'll be doing here yeah? so in other words um, it allows you to separate um, yeah and to concentrate uh, yeah, things that are in suspension here and uh, the reason why it does that is, is when it spins very quickly uh, then there is a lo very large g-force a gravity force and everything that is solid is pulled down the tube and will collect here you can actually see that uh, later on I'm going to show you okay um, there, um, so that's basically uh, what it's used for and it will become clear as soon um, as I'll, um, I'll use it now I'm not saying that if you want to do microscopy as a hobby that you absolutely need that 
certainly not but it can make life a little bit easier and a couple of uh, several months ago or years ago I just decided to buy this machine um, also to try it out and uh, as I've already mentioned before um, yeah it's not the first time that I'm using it but I've also made some some other videos uh, before yeah what I'll be also doing is, is of course I'll be interrupting myself a little bit and I'll be um, then also answering some of the questions here so there's a hello from France and first question 